Hi, I'm Steve, and you're watching Ram Beast Projects. If you're new to the channel, this is a family and automotive channel. And today, we are delivering Girl Scout cookies to Dirty D's. Yep, Girl Scout cookies to Dirty D's with a little uh, little special package from Mishimoto for the Beast that I'm going to go over here shortly. So it's not all Girl Scout cookies. And we might have a solution for that fuel line. You know, a while back, I installed the Cat Fuel Filter Kit for the Beast. And a lot of you guys have uh, been sending me messages about the fuel line. Josh might have something for you guys moving forward if you guys are interested in it. So uh, without further ado, let's deliver these cookies. Yeah, um, I think Josh got like, I don't know, he got $48 worth of cookies and Aaron got one box. So Aaron, you need to step your game up. Seriously, buddy. So if you ever want to get in the, their good graces, make sure you bring them Skittles or Girl Scout cookies, but you have to get the Girl Scout cookies from our daughter, Kylie. And Heather is one of those crazy cookie moms. She is the troop leader for the, the her Girl Scout troop. So yeah, she's nuts. When you see this, the whole thing she's got going on, our, our living room has been taken over by Girl Scout cookies. doing yeah. what is this yeah I do uh, I'm going blind in my old age and uh, I can't see anything you are really old yeah I, know. I heard your comments I took off my Ram Beast hoodie <laughs> oh we got you a present what? Wanna, you're gonna have to do an unboxing video though really yeah I like presents yeah, I, I like yeah, presents I brought you a ton of Girl Scout cookies I think this is the video actually <laughs> I, I'm sick do you want to shake hands you're sick? Yeah, I've been uh, sick. Dude, I had it for two weeks. That's why I haven't been posting much, just because I've been, this is like my best day I've had. We got you a present. <laughs> but here, let me, I'll film you unboxing it. Yeah. Okay. Is it gonna explode on me? No. So, I mean, no. You're gonna be so excited. Oh, dude, I saw, I saw this on your Instagram story. This is one of Mikey G's uh, presents for Aaron. <laughs> uh, let's send it back to him. We gotta get him back. No, we we're, gonna, back. we're gonna send it to somebody else. <laughs> I'll let you have your uh, your toy. Thanks. <laughs> what are you guys doing to this thing? Just a massive leveling kit. Massive leveling kit. Well, it's a three and a half inch width. Actually. What? Lift. Do you wanna go down a hair? Yeah. Hi. So this is the solution that we've come up with. Well, Josh has come yeah, up we, with. We, Josh, well, hey, I, I had planned to do so something similar. I, I had planned to do something similar. But he's going to actually come up with something for the, his website. So you guys will have to stay tuned and check that out. Check out Dirty Diesels because he's going to probably do the cap filter setup on his truck. Is hey, that right? Can, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Can you pass me a light? Oh. Should have known that was gonna happen. <laughs> Some rags would be beneficial right about now. I'm gonna rust proof this thing, Steve. Well, it's got the Angel MG on it. People can buy it from you as well. They can. Amsoil MP mount. We sprayed the whole frame. Hopefully, these <laughs> hopefully it, it works because otherwise, Gino, you're driving me it. home. Hopefully, these vibrant quick connects hey, will quick connect to it. Or, did you say I'll be riding in class? Yes, I did. Oh, jeez. I like your hoodie. Thanks. <laughs> Back to get some. Nice braided line. That's the white color. No more junk. 
All right, so for the fitting at the CP3, what you're gonna wanna do is take the little plastic piece out, the locking clip, and put that on the connector on the CP3, just like that. So we'll slip that on. Then what we're gonna do, feed the line down, feed the line down and just pop it right on. Clips right on, done deal. And then on the bottom, same thing. So on the bottom, we have the factory, that's the factory fuel line that goes up to the, uh, that goes up to the CP3. Well, it will go up to the factory fuel bowl, but now it's gonna go straight to the CP3. So what we're gonna do is just attach the new line right to that. Um, let me grab it. There it is. It's right on the frame rail. Um, it's basically right where the frame starts to come up and go to the, uh, you know, the fuel lines go to the engine. So, super easy. Just another option for you guys if you're interested and you're not comfortable making a fuel line yourself with the information in the video that I did. This is another option that you guys can do through Dirty Diesels. He's gonna have them pre-made for you. You just, it's basically plug and play, as they say, plug and play. We also got this catch can, because I know a lot of you guys were commenting about my uh, D&J valve cover with the hose coming off the backside of the breather, top of the valve cover, the blow by. Uh, so we, we got a catch can for our own machine motor. We got to figure out where to install this guy. I mean, and you want to talk about quality. This is some high quality stuff here. High speed, high quality. <laughs> it's actually not that deep. It's just, it's fat. It's a fat little guy. Yeah, the hell, they're pretty nice. Able the catch can for now because we have no idea where to mount it and we need to get some more fittings for it and some hose, but. You know, comment below where you guys think we should mount it. Uh, we can mount it down here on the lower end of the frame. We we're thinking over here, but yeah, comment below. We're gonna table it for now. Bye guys. Bye. Later Gino. All right, it's the following morning and it's uh, Operation Cookie Mom over here. She's been very pleasant this morning when it comes to uh, her husband. What are you doing? Getting stuff ready for our booth. This is actually not that bad. The other day when we were here, I mean, this was full of cookies. This couch was full of cookies. We had a table over there full of cookies. Cookies across there. I'm sure there's cookies in your car still right now. Yeah, there are. <laughs> So yeah, she uh, she's one of those, what do they call them, crazy cookie moms right now? She won't admit it, trust me, she's not gonna admit it, but she is definitely a crazy cookie mom right now. She I... just makes very mean faces at me. <laughs> I run myself too thin. I know that I do that. And then when I do that, I'm just tired. And I'm not, people get hangry, I don't get hangry. I get tired <laughs> I get really angry when I don't get to sleep. I get up at 2.50 in the morning for work. Yesterday I got up 2.50. Had to do an eye doctor appointment. Had to do bingo for the kids at school. Now I have to... Whose fault is this? My own. Because <laughs> I feel like... Macy got a new toy now. <laughs> hey Maze. People on the vlog love you. Uh, and she gets angry at me for just asking her a question. That's false. Yeah. Look, look, false. it's all it's official. Crazy cookie mom. She even got a cookie wrapped around her. <laughs> she wishes she has ones, guys. She's gonna be at the grocery store. She can go right to a cash register. No, but you'll be fine, babe. No. Every... Go ahead, Kylie. Pat her on the back. <laughs> Girls so... got rules. I don't think we're supposed to be doing that. Uh, well, don't worry. No one's gonna report you to the Girl Scout. These <laughs> Women are crazy. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. Don't let it get to you. Kylie? May the force be with you today. 
Just make sure you give. Did you blush yourself? <laughs> <laughs> make sure you give mom. You know, a lot of pats on the backs, a lot of words of encouragement today, because she's going to need it. She's ignoring me right now. I think she, I better stop guys. I think she'll throw her phone at me if I keep <laughs> persisting. <laughs> Good luck today, Kylie. Is there something we need to learn first? Let's do it. Bye. Bye, I love, love you. you. Don't kill our daughter today. I'll try not to. What's with the teddy bear? Because this year instead of um, cookies for like the military for whatever reason I guess it got too expensive to hold the cookies in New Jersey to then ship out so this year the Girl Scouts decided that it's going to be hometown heroes so each Girl Scout troop can decide where they want their donated money and cookies to go to you can go to local police officers firemen paramedics hospitals nurses do you know that sort of thing or your vets if you know any so I'm gonna put Sergeant Teddy next to our bucket <laughs> to see if They'll draw up some uh, more donations. Bye. Bye. Listen to your mom, please. Yes. You have a blast. <laughs> Let's do this. Uh, hopefully she gets better today, guys. I will. I I'm good now. Hug. Bye. Bye. Uh. All right. At least, right. there's, at least there's no snow. Look at you, you're up. Yeah, oh, ooh, yeah. She's, she's uh, off the side. Okay, okay. Right. <laughs> oh man, God bless her. God bless everyone that comes into contact with her today, and God bless Kylie. She'll be better when she gets home, guys. Trust me. <laughs> All right. Bye, crazy. <laughs> I know I usually provide a lot more detail in my videos when it comes to the parts that we're installing and uh, the specs and what have you and what you would need to go to get. Uh, the case with this video is gonna be a little bit different because you know I wanna help Josh out. I wanna help Josh um, be able to sell these on his website for you guys. So if you're interested in that fuel line, like I said before, just, you know, keep an eye out. Josh is going to be doing a video uh, on their YouTube channel with a similar installation of the cat filter. He's been trying to get in contact with the owner of the company. I would imagine, I mean, he's a busy guy. It took him a while to get in contact with me after I did my video. Um, so just stay tuned. Keep an eye out for it. Um, the components that we used were from Vibrant. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions for where we should mount the catch can. I'm, I'm, I'm like leaning towards, here, we'll pop the hood. Well, maybe we won't pop the hood, but I'm leaning towards mounting it on this side and we can mount it on the back side of the battery tray. And there's a whole bunch of real estate over here. And I saw someone ran their line to the catch can right across the front of the, the valve cover to that location. So I think, I don't think that would look that bad, especially if we get some nice line from Vibrant. And uh, um, I don't think it's going to look that bad. I, I really don't. But, you know, comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I'm curious. All right. It's cold outside, but it's going to go up to the 40s. And we're going to miss all the snow this weekend. So, yay. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're a Prius owner and you don't like this type of content, well, give it a thumbs up anyway. And uh, make sure you tap that subscribe button. Make sure you tap it, smash it, hit the notification bell. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next upload.